kiddos, it's Miss Lauren, and welcome to our first night of Awana Clubs. I'm so excited that we're back and getting started with Awanas again, but I know someone who's even more excited to see y'all. So on three, let's say Cubby. Ready? One, two, three, Cubby! Hello, boys and girls! I'm so excited to see you! We can see you're excited, Cubby. Timothy and I have missed you all so much. Who's Timothy, Cubby? He is the kiddo that lives on the farm here at Apple Acres. Today we found something that flies around and makes a buzzing noise like this. Bzzz. What is that, Cubby? Can you tell us what it is? We found bees. We watched them fly from flower to flower, sucking all the honey up from one flower to another called pollinating. Once they were done flying around from flower to flower, they went back to their home called a hive. What do bees have in their hive, Cubby? They work together to make honeycomb. And yummy honey. They make honey from all the sweet nectar that they get from the flowers around the farm. When the bees are done making the honey, Timothy said his dad will gather all the honey from the hive so we could eat some of it. Mmm, I love honey. Wow, I bet it is fun to watch all the bees buzz around, Cubby. Yes, but we have to be very careful not to touch them. They are working hard. Timothy's dad told us that we must never go near the beehives. They could sting us and get upset and it could hurt all of us. Ouch, that would hurt. Well, it is always important to obey what our parents say, Cubby. It sure is. Boy, all this talk about honey makes me hungry. I'm going to go ask Timothy if we can have some apples with honey. That sounds yummy, Cubby. I hope you have fun with your snack. Bye, Cubby. Bye, boys and girls. It sounds like to me, Cubby Bear really likes his honey. Cubbies, your moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas want you to obey so that you can stay safe. When you're at the store with your parents, it's always important to stay beside them where you don't get lost in the store. Micah loves to go places with his parents, especially the hardware store. He loves seeing all the shiny tools and the really cool pieces of wood that smells really good. One day, while Micah and his dad were at the hardware store, his dad needed to ask the sales clerk an important question. Please stand quietly beside me while I talk to this man, says his dad. While Micah waited, he looked around the big store. He saw so many neat tools. Dad, can we go look at these shiny tools over here with the big wheels? In just a minute, said Dad. I need you to wait right here beside me while I talk to the sales clerk. His dad seemed to be taking a really long time talking to the sales clerk. So, Micah was bored, and he decided to go check out the really cool machinery himself. Micah walked to the shiny machine and touched the big black wheels. There were so many cool buttons. Micah thought about how fun it would be to run that machine. Micah was so busy looking at the machines that he walked further and further down the long row. When he looked up, he couldn't see his dad anywhere. All of a sudden, the hardware store was not his favorite place. Micah was lost. He called out, Dad! Dad! Micah began to cry. He knew that he should have obeyed. All of a sudden, Micah's crying stopped. He turned around and he saw his dad. There you are, his dad said. Micah ran to his dad and gave him a big old hug. Cubbies, do you know that we're like Micah? Just like Micah disobeyed his dad, we sometimes disobey too. In the Bible, God tells us to obey our parents. So when we don't obey our parents, we're disobeying God. If your mom or your grandma ask you to clean up your room and you don't clean up your room, that's disobeying God. When we disobey God, it is a sin. All of us disobey God and that makes God sad. But you know what? Just like Micah's dad, when he disobeyed, he still loved him. And God does the same thing. This is a very special book. God talks to us through this book. God tells us that he loves us very much. God loves us so much that he sent his son, Jesus, to do something about our sin. Today we are going to learn a very special verse from the Bible. It tells us about God's love. 1 John 4.10. It's in the back of the book <laughs> if you need help finding it. It says, God loves us and sent his son. Cubbies, I want you to say that verse with me one more time. Are you ready? 1 John 4.10.
God loved us and sent his son. Yeah. Lord. Jesus never sinned and he never disobeyed. He loved us so much that he chose to die on the cross for our sins. It was hard for Jesus to die, but he did it because it was the only way to save us from our sin. Three days later, Jesus came alive again. <laughs> so for today's activity sheet, we have this awesome coloring page. We get to only color the hearts because if you look on here, it is our Bible verse. This heart says God loved us and sent his son. 1 John 4.10 This is the Cubby's entrance booklet for this week. You're going to open it up and you get to color cubby to however you would like to color cubby. You can also count the apples in the bucket. You're going to flip over to this page where you've got Jesus on this side and cubby on this side. This is where you can work with your child to say this week's Bible verse. Here it says 1 John 4.10, God loved us and sent his son. So when your child says that Bible verse, you can go ahead and sign off where it says parent or guardian signature and do the date. And then you can take a picture of that and send it to me in an email. So over here on the side is a little story that you can read your child every week. There's going to be stories in the handbook as well. Um, you can read and you can help your child read as well if they would like to read. That's always one of my favorite parts when we have cubbies at church. Mm -hmm.